So this is the closest I've ever made two new question and answer videos together. Doesn't really make a difference, I'll just get started. What brand of clock do you use and where did you get it from? Well, I use a Lin Gao for the base clock, so just really any Chinese clock, they're all the same. And then I put Rubik's brand pins in it, because the biggest problem with the Lin Gao's is they're very tight when you get them, but that fixes itself with breaking in. But the biggest part is the pins falling down, and that doesn't happen with the Rubik's. But I find the Rubik's tend to stay more tight, even with breaking in, at least the few that I have. So when I put the pins into the looser Lin Gao's, it seems to work out pretty well. How long did it take you to average five minutes on 7x7? Under a year. Uh, see, I, I knew how to solve a 7x7 for a long time, since like, uh, maybe 2009, 2010, something like that. Then in 2013, at the World Championships, I realized how bad I was at 7x7. Because I was doing a 7x7 Team Factory solve, and I was like, wow, I'm really slow at this. So. I got a mini 7x7 there and I started just doing a few solves. I did a few solves and it was like nine minutes. I'm like, this is something I should work on. At the time, I hadn't competed in 7x7. So then like, I don't know, maybe six months or so later, not quite, I was down to like 6.30. And then uh, I didn't really touch a 7x7 much. And then I started practicing the next summer and then I was averaging under six minutes. When slash where is the next competition you will be at? I'm hoping to be at the Indiana 2015 competition because they're having every event there. And it's really not looking too great for me getting there because it is a Friday night into Saturday competition. So I'd have to get a hotel and hotels are not cheap. So it'll more likely be the Dixon summer competition on June 21st. Are you going to buy the Bai Tai clock? I am not because it's just the same thing as the Lin Gao. It's just branded differently. I mean, it could be slightly different, but it, I can't imagine that there would be any turning difference. Do you notice that people try so hard to come up with a silly question just to get on your videos? Not really. I don't quite understand what you're talking about. I haven't seen anything like that. On a scale from 18.4 to banana, how much do you like watermelon Italian ice? I get it now, I really do. This is, this is not good. Have you ever fed your turtle raw seafood? I actually have, I used to feed him live goldfish. So I guess that's technically raw seafood. It's basically as raw as you can get. I don't really feed him goldfish anymore because I like goldfish. Is this a good question? Well, it didn't really mention pizza. So, probably not. Which is better, clock or stuff? Well, at the clock and stuff competition, I won more of the stuff events than I did clock events, because there's only one clock event. Um, but I, I'd have to say the clock is better because it's so much more different than every other WCA puzzle. And that makes it the best. Why have I been playing so much RuneScape lately? I'm going to answer this question with a question. Is RuneScape still actually a game? Because I, I think I remember my friends playing that in like first grade. I, I honestly didn't know that was actually still a thing. Interesting. I heard that we can only use stickered cubes for competitions. If so, can we sticker a stickerless cube and compete? Nope, that, that's not allowed in the WCA regulations. It's a good idea though to get around that rule. It wouldn't work though, I, I mean, yeah, it just wouldn't. What does N, Q, and A stand for? I literally answered this in the video that you commented this on. Have you ever skied down a hill and your skis popped off? All of the time. Basically, like, if there's only like two days, I think, last season out of 33 that I skied, that my skis didn't come off, and it's because I was only there for like a couple hours. So most of the time my skis fall off. Most of the time it's because I fall. Do you eat a healthy diet of cheese every meal daily? Well, I eat cheese every day. I mean, usually, I mean, not, I don't usually have it with breakfast, but uh, 
lunch and dinner usually have cheese in some form. So there will actually be videos in between the new question and answer videos this week. So gonna do that, obviously.